I say this in a lot of videos that I make, Citizen are really on a roll. I think the entire Citizen group are really doing well. They keep on coming out with watches that I think enthusiasts will like. Today, we're gonna take a look at the 37 millimeter version of the Citizen EcoDrive ProMaster. So this is essentially a smaller version of one of their most popular dive watches. It gets all of the great specs, except in a smaller package. So let's flip the camera and take a look at the new Citizen ProMaster Dive EcoDrive in 37 millimeters. A very popular trend in the watch industry these days is to go smaller and Citizen, of course, have come out with a 37 millimeter version of their ProMaster EcoDrive, a very popular watch for them in 44 millimeters. Now that does wear a little bit smaller than the 44 millimeter dimensions. It wears like a 42 millimeter. This is a 37 millimeter version of that watch. And essentially you're getting all of the same specs just in a smaller package. Now this does wear a little bit smaller than 37 millimeters, but we'll talk about that in just a few minutes. So what you get here is a 200 meter diver's watch. So you get 200 meters of water resistance. You have a screwed in crown, a screwed in case back. This is EcoDrive, just like its larger cousin. So this dial is a solar panel. It is powered by light, any light. You also have loom on the indices. Those indices have sort of a surround around them. I'm not sure they're embossed into the dial. I believe that they are printed onto the dial and then you have these little metallic surrounds around them. Uh, it is a matte black dial, it just says Citizen. Below the 12 o'clock, right above the six o'clock, you get the ProMaster logo, EcoDrive, and Divers 200. The handset here, very similar to what you get on the larger watch again, except downsized. You have that sort of sword hand for the hour, and then you get an arrow for that seconds and the minute hand, the minute hand in an orange color. You have a chapter ring that matches the dial in black, the crown at four o'clock, very traditional for the eco drive, and of course the date at four o'clock, which does not get a color match background. However, that's because it takes the place of the index at four o'clock. Also, you have a screwed in case back. It's lightly etched with some information. Obviously, it's anti-magnetic, just like its larger cousin again, and 200 meters of water resistance. Let's listen to the bezel action, and then we'll talk about price. So bezel action is very similar, again, to its larger counterpart it's 44 millimeter cousin however it's a little bit less audible i would say it feels exactly the same it's very tight but not too tight and it lines up perfectly and it will not move so it's very very stable you get a mineral crystal on this watch so that might be something that's a little bit different from the current eco drive line i believe they started using sapphire crystals on those i may be wrong that might be only the automatics but uh, I'm pretty sure they started using some sapphire crystals on those eco drives as well. This costs only $375. So they're obviously not pricing this astronomically. I think that's actually in the ballpark of what the 44 millimeter version carries. However, uh, it might be even a little bit cheaper. It comes on this rubber strap. It's a diver's rubber strap. And then you sort of have a generic press buckle on here which actually looks good and is very functional. The strap in general, obviously very, very functional. So let's very quickly do some measurements. And then I wanna throw it on my seven and a half inch wrist. So you can see how this smaller version wears on, I would say I have above average wrist. I think it's a little bit bigger uh, than the average, but close to average. So it is 36.2 at the bezel. If you measure it at the case, it's, 36.4 so it is a 36 millimeter watch i think they advertise it as 37 i'm not sure uh they may be rounding up so um i think it wears like a 36 in my opinion looking at the lug to lug at the lugs itself it's around 42.7 at the bracelet or at the rubber strap it's 44 
Uh, you have a small crown on here, but the crown actually does fit the case, so 5.3 millimeters, and then the thickness on here is 11.5 millimeters. Actually makes a lot of sense. I believe that the Eco Drives, all Eco Drives are around that thickness uh, because obviously it is a quartz movement. So very quickly, I'm gonna throw it on my wrist. But before I do, I have another 37 millimeter watch on my wrist. This is a new watch to me, uh, a new vintage purchase. This is a Bulova wrist alarm. I wore it specifically for this video because I am reviewing a 37 millimeter uh, Citizen, so obviously within the same brand. This is an alarm, so let's listen to the alarm and then we'll throw the Citizen on my wrist. So here we go, uh, just adjusting the uh, alarm. I just have to pull this out and this is loud, guys. So just listen to this. Pretty loud, I have to say. I'm actually very impressed. I've owned a few alarm watches in the past. This is louder than uh, my Seiko was. This is louder than my Vulcan was. Uh, this is a very loud alarm. Well, there you go. 37 millimeters on my seven and a half inch wrist. It really is around 36 and a half millimeters, but I think this wears like a 36 millimeter watch. The lug to lug is very short, uh, around 43 millimeters, somewhere in that range. It wears like a classic, sort of a vintage dive watch. Although it looks modern, it feels vintage on my wrist, and I think it looks awesome. I would definitely wear this watch. It obviously will work for wrists that are much smaller than mine, and I think it would wear on larger wrists as well. I think it would wear pretty well. I'm not sure how well, but on my wrist, I definitely could pull it off, uh, and it depends on if you like a smaller watch and I like both. I like large watches and small watches. So my most recent two purchases, three purchases, uh, I bought a 40 millimeter watch, a 37 millimeter watch, and then a 48 millimeter watch. So that tells you something right there. So I sort of <laughs> buy the gamut. Uh, I wear everything. So this definitely works on my wrist. Loom is excellent. You can see the hands are very, very liberally applied. The indices, very liberally applied. You have a little pip in the bezel and you have a little bit of loom in the second hand so you can see that it's working in the dark. Excellent loom. I have no complaints. Citizen have been really packing in loom on all of their new watches and obviously no exception here. Very, very good. Uh, $375 for a 37 millimeter Eco Drive version of the ProMaster. Uh, I think it's pretty good. I think that they're doing something a little bit different. Seiko has not come out with a dive watch in this size that I'm aware of, and I think that's pretty cool that they sort of did this, and uh, I think a lot of people have been looking for a smaller version of a pro dive watch from either Citizen or Seiko, and obviously I think Citizen beat them to it. This is pretty cool, uh, and I think it's a really good looking watch as well. And I definitely would wear this in this size. It definitely fits me well. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. Would you guys wear this? Is this too small? Did they go too small on this? Uh, tell me what you think in the comments down below. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It's super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Anyway guys, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you in the next video.